Hi, my name is Dr. Ron Warner, um, and I'm shooting this video for Align Care Chiropractic. I'm an upper cervical physician, and the technique that I use is called QSM3. It stands for Quantum Spinal Mechanics Cubed. And so within that, what I do is I analyze your posture, and based upon an individual's posture is how I make the correction. Um, and with this uh, posture measurement, I utilize it, I look at it before I make the adjustment, and then I adjust the individual, and then I look at it again after uh, the adjustment. And what I'm looking for is a very specific thing to make sure that your body's put, in, put into a healing position. And then when you come back on consecutive visits, I can actually compare this data to see that you're going in a healing direction. So first thing I have the patient do is they'll have their shoes removed. So come on up here, please. Put your toes in the line, face the door. And with this, I put a, a leveling laser on the posterior aspect of the individual, the patient. <clears throat> and what I'm looking for here is I look at the very top of the spine, and then I follow the spine down, and I want to compare. And I want to see where the top of the spine is in relationship to the bottom of the spine. So I write that information down. And then I look at shoulders based upon, this is a level line. And so looking at the line here, you can actually see that the right side is lower than the left side. So that, that's the second measurement that I make in this position. And the third one, I look at the level of the hips. And so <clears throat> put my caliper on the hips. And then I have a little level here that shows me if it's left hip low or right hip low. Okay. So, and then also I can look for compression within the individual, um, just looking side to side. So what I'm looking for is a, a we call it a bow. So basically, if you see like this bow here, that's what I'm looking for is for compression. So I just look and see which side she has the bow on also. So after that position there, I put them up on the anatometer. And so after I have the patient there, I take down all that information based on uh, looking at the posture. Then I have them step up on the anatometer. On the anatometer here, um, I have bilateral weights, so what I do is I look at, see if you're heavy left or right and by how much. Um, once again, I can confirm um, from the front view which side is compressed, which side is bowed over. Um, and then also, behind the patient, I have a grid, um, and so I can compare the different compensations of the posture uh, based upon a gravitational zero. And so I can confirm once again, look and see shoulder height, I look to see which way the neck goes left or right, look to see which way the head falls left or right. Um, and then all these measurements I'm making are compensation that, the, that comprises, makes up the patient's posture and their compensations against gravity. So uh, kind of break down the degeneration. And so after I look at the front, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and look at the data in the back of the patient. So after I've looked at the front, I come to the back, I look at the patient. Over here I have scales, the readout of the scales. So there's a right scale, there's a left scale. So I can see uh, the weight differential here. Um, you know, posture perfect would be, you'd be balanced. Say if you weigh 120 pounds, you'd have 60 pounds on each scale. Look at that, so I see how much they're off there. And I look at, based upon the patient, I've got an indicator here. I put on the fixed point here to gauge to see how far off center they are there. And then I have um, distance finding uh, lasers here. And this is very uh, unique to our technique only, is that I'm measuring actually to see uh, the rotation in the shoulders. So I'll mark that, so I have a distance here. And so if there's a longer distance on this side than this, this left side, then that means this side is anterior. So this is forward. So there's rotation like that within the individual. Then I come down to the hip level. And I actually do the same measurement. And I'm looking to see 
rotation, what I want to see is rotation the same way, shoulder and hips. But within there, a lot of times I'll see shoulders are one way and hips are the other way, which is what I call a dishrag effect, which is really hard on the nervous system to have that type of tension within it. And so, and that's, that's what I look at back here. So, uh, I put all this into um, my computer, come up with an algorithm, and based upon your, your postural deviations is how I adjust an individual. So everybody has a unique um, natural neurological misalignment. And within that, this is pattern work, and that's what makes it possible because I can go in there and I can see your pattern. I can see how you respond to gravity, how you break down, and your breakdown is what causes you pain within there. And so as we open you up and get you straighter and stronger for longer periods of time, that's what gets rid of the pain. So you have a more efficient uh, system, the posture be more uh, up and open. Okay, so now I've analyzed the posture, um, I've written it down, and I know how I'm going to adjust the individual. So next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay them down on the table. So I'll have you lay down on your left side or your right side, and sometimes it's just one side and sometimes I'll flip you over. Um, but within there, um, really basically what I'm doing is I'm actually laying you down mirror imaging, which is exactly opposite of your misalignment, and that's to cause it to open up. So where there's compression, I want to open that up. And it brings everything to tension, so when I adjust you, um, things just release that much easier. So it's very low force um, and very comfortable for the patient. So let's have you lay down on your right shoulder. In the head piece, there's a, a little slot for the ear. And so I'm going to align the neck to a place that's opposite of her misalignment. Scoot up just a little bit. Top leg will be straight, bottom one will be bent. And then just put a little tension in here, just kind of signal, send a signal to the brain that hey, we want this stuff tense, we want to be able to open this up here. And then to ingest the individual, I just use this it's very um, part of my hand, small part of my hand right here, and I actually make contact up in the high neck area. And then I just add tension to it. So what I'm doing is I'm adding tension to your tension, and that causes everything to relax and creates it, causes it to come up and open. And as you can see, the patient doesn't do anything. I always tell you just relax and think straight, just to uh, give me a chance just to, to be able to go in there and and open things up to relieve the tension that's in the whole system. Okay, come on up. So I do all the same measurements. Measure rotation in the shoulders. Measure rotation in the hips. Measure fixed point. Annotate weight. And that's it. There you go. And that completes the adjustment um, for this time. When they come back, I'll compare how they come back as far as posture, all the measurements I take, to when they left. And that gives me a really good idea of how the patient's progressing and, uh, and how they're feeling. You know, sometimes the, the posture opens up before they feel better. And so um, it's just uh, it's nice to be able to um, take the notes and see how they're doing and uh, just to be able to confirm uh, with the, the digital data, you know, uh, to the fact that they are doing better. So thank you for this, uh, for tuning in to watch this video, and I, I hope it's helpful. This technique is uh, very unique, and I'm only one of uh, two or three here in Michigan, and uh, um, I think it's really good. Uh, there's a lot of great things that happen. So if you have any questions, please call the office. I'll be happy to, uh, to talk to you.